Hi there! In this video, I'll be tackling yet another issue I recently discovered. It turns out that at specific engine speed and loads, this little guy starts acting up. I'm talking about our freshwater heater. The problem is that during certain resonant frequencies, the boiler begins to shake in a longitudinal direction. Like I show it by my hands. The amplitude of the vibrations is quite high, which has already led to the failure of one of three hidden elements. I'll be solving this problem by fabricating and installing additional support components in the upper part of the structure. New support components will be made from standard steel angle brackets. They will be welded directly to the bulkhead on one side and fastened with threaded connections to the heater on the other side. Let's give it a try and see how it turns out. And there we go. I have already managed to get my hands on two steel angle bars of approximate length, which I honestly borrowed from the deck crew. Hope they don't mind it. Now all that's left is to cut them to the proper size, prepare a flat surface on one end for bolting to the heater, and weld a round plate to the other end for proper mounting on the bulkhead. I've prepared a cool FPV video for you, showing the process. I think it's a great way to see the work from my eyes. So first of all, we do a tech weld at two points, and then go to test fit the part in place. I skipped filming the fitting process, but everything went smoothly, so we're ready to continue welding. There's a little bit history for you. I have never held a welding torch before I started learning on the ship six years ago. To be honest, tutorial videos from the internet didn't help me at all. Everything I have learned uh, has been through hands-on practice. And I'm still practicing. In this video, for example, I decided to try on some new electrodes, root 12, 12 it's called, which we happen to have two full boxes on board. So they need to be used. I can say that the welds aren't exactly smooth, 
But for this purpose, uh, I believe the quality is more than enough. Although, I definitely wouldn't use them for welding pipes. Once the welding is done, the next step is to drill holes in each bracket to secure them to the heater with M12 bolts. Naturally, I use the step drilling method, starting with a 3mm bit, then moving to 7mm and finally to 13mm. But there is nothing particularly difficult about this, but it does take time, so I'll keep it brief. I also want to point out that if your drill bit stops cutting, there is no need to throw it away and grab a new one. A quick sharpening on a bench grinder will do the trick. If you are at home or in the garage, you can even use an angle grinder. It's not complicated. Just take a look at the new bit and try to replicate its shape on the old one. Yes, that's a phone call, and this is one of the audio-visual alert panels from the alarm and notification system, which are placed through the engine room. It lights up icons corresponding to different events, and in this case it's indicating that the phone in the control room is ringing. But I'll go into more details about the system some other time. And yes, I'm almost done with the mouse, so we can move on to the next stage. Now I reached the final stage, it's time to install the structure in place. Since there will be some more welding, I am cleaning off the paint from the work surface of the bulkhead. Along the way, I am test fitting the parts to make sure everything lines up perfectly. I am marking the spots for grinding with my finger on the layer of dust that settled on the bulkhead. Sometimes, while I'm at it, I catch myself thinking what a great artist I could have been instead of doing all this. But then I quickly brush those thoughts away, just like the dust.
any work involving welding leaves behind a lot of mess. So cleanup is a boring but necessary part of the job. Compressed air helps speed things up, but you still can't get away without a brush and a dustpan. Now I need to craft some plates from a very thick metal. Drill the necessary holes for the bolts and finally secure the heater to the new structure with those bolts. And for the final touch, like they say, if you do it right, it looks right. All that's left is to prime my creation and then give it a fresh coat of white paint. Well, that's it folks. You can see the result on your screen. As of the time this video was made, the tests have been completed and the excess vibrations were gone. The whole job took me about two days, but of course I wasn't working on just this the entire time. But overall I can say, it's a pretty time-consuming process. And thank you for watching!